successfully lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station carrying our carrying our stack of Starlink satellites to orbit. The next event coming up here shortly is Max Q. Max Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees on ascent. So throttling down supersonic. Throttling down those engines helps us pass through that large structural load. We shut down all nine of the M engines on the first stage. MVAC engine chill has started. Just to call out that the MVAC chill has begun on that second stage engine. So for Miko, we shut down all nine of the engines and that slows the vehicle down in preparation for that second event, which is stage separation. Stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage and first stage will begin its journey back home heading towards our drone ship just freed the instructions while stage two continues on its journey with the third event, SES-1 or second engine start one. And that is where we light up that MVAC engine and it propels the second stage along with the Starlink satellites towards its drop-off orbit. Stage separation on your left hand screen is a view from the first stage. On your right hand screen is a view of that second stage engine. You kind of saw a glow of that T TEB, that green flame, when we ignited that engine. We're coming up on fairing deploy here shortly. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you can see confirmation on your screen that we have successfully deployed those fairing halves. And as a reminder, we will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today with a contracted recovery vessel named Sheila Bordelon. On your left hand screen, it is a little dark over there on the east coast because it is nighttime, but we did get some glimpses of the sunlight hitting those grid fins. Let's see if we can get some more views of that in a little bit. As stage, two, as stage two takes our Starlink satellites to their targeted drop-off orbit, stage one will make its way back to Earth by executing two burns. The first is the entry burn, and that's where we light up three of the nine M1D engines. And this will help to slow the stage down as it re-enters back into the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second of those two burns for that first stage is called the landing burn. And this is where a single engine, the center engine, uh, will reignite and bring the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to touch down on that drone ship. As a reminder, we are attempting to land on just read the instructions tonight. And those M1D engines do have a thrust of 190,000 pounds. So that 
lighting up that one single engine slows the entire vehicle down just enough to touch down on that drone ship. Stage two is still looking good and what you're seeing on your screen is a view of that MVAC engine. Vehicles following a nominal trajectory. Now, if you're just catching up with us, we had a successful launch of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 40, and you're looking at a live view of the Falcon 9 second stage as it is making its way to deliver our Starlink payload to orbit. Stage 1 is currently cruising back to Earth towards our drone ship. Just read the instructions out in the Atlantic Ocean. We're just about a minute away from the next event on that first stage. That'll be the entry burn. Again, Starlink satellites are going to a LEO orbit or low Earth orbit, about 550 kilometers above the Earth's surface. And most satellites are at 36,000 kilometers or in a geo or geostationary orbit. We are just about roughly 30 seconds away from that entry burn beginning. 